There are three types of government. A monarchy, an aristocracy, and a democracy. One might think that these types of government cannot exist together. However, Rome managed to unite all three in its commonwealth. So tight was the administration that resulted from their unification that it is no easy thing to determine with assurance whether the entire state of Rome was an aristocracy, a democracy, or a monarchy. If we turn our view upon the power of the consuls, or the kings, war the government appears to be purely monarchical and regal. Thankfully, each consul was only around for a year. Focusing on the authority of the Senate, it would appear they would be an aristocracy, ran by a bunch of rich old folk who would advise the consuls with the secret intent of keeping the poor poor and the rich rich, like any aristocracy. And lastly, if focus is had on the share of which the people possessed in the administration of affairs, then it could not fail to be determined as a popular state, as the people were far greater than the combined might of 302 persons consisting of Senate members and the consuls. The Roman Republic could not be determined to be single government. Each position had dealings that could not be ignored. If one power were lost, the whole Republic would fall. Oh, wait. It did.